Hello everyone, this is Mark Gooden with ComputerIntegrity.com and I want to take a few moments to uh, provide a quick video tutorial on a product called SyncBack. SyncBack is a great backup utility uh, that you can download for free. It is made by Two Bright Sparks and the best way to find it is just to open up a browser, go to uh, Google.com and search for SyncBack. Uh, SyncBack is S-Y-N-C-B-A-C-K, all one word, and you will see uh, the first listing that shows up is right here. Go ahead and select this link, and this will take you over to TwoBrightSparks.com and their product SyncBack. Scroll down just a little ways, and you will see right here SyncBack Free Version 6, and here's your download link. Now, I already have it so I'm not going to download it now but what you'll want to do is just click on the download link and download and install this program um, when you click on this if it asks you to save or to open slash run uh, select your open or run option it'll simplify the install process so once you have this on your machine uh, you're going to see something that looks similar to this right here now I've used this for a little while and again it's a great program um, what you will do when you first install this is you will be prompted to set up a profile as you can see right here I have a couple of profiles set up I'm going to go ahead and walk through uh, relatively quick and at a relatively high level um, the process of setting up a profile so I'm going to select profiles I'm going to select new and I'm going to be presented with my new profile window and I'm going to assign a profile name. In this case, I'm going to call it Test. I'm going to select Next, and instead of getting into all the features that this program offers, I'm just going to keep this relatively high level. So, um, so at the end of this, you you have a basic uh, a basic profile set up to do your backups. So at this point, just go ahead and leave the default, which is selected for backup. Hit Next. Go ahead and leave this the same hit done and you're going to be presented with a, a configuration window for the profile that we just created okay so what you want to do at this point is select the source the source is basically saying what is it you want to back up now when you go to back up information off your machine the idea is not to back up everything the idea is to back up critical folders and files that are important to you so uh, they could be pictures, they could be music, um, anything that is important to you that you store on your machine, documents, whatever you might have, um, that's going to be the source of your backup. So in this case, I'm going to click on the file folder sitting next to source, and uh, it'll present this window right here. And you can do, uh, you can kind of drill down into your, your C drive, which is your primary drive of where your uh, files and folders are located. Um, in this particular case, I'm, I'm just going to, we're just doing a demo, so I'm going to select uh, uh, this attachment that I have to my machine called HP Tools. I'm going to select a folder called Hewlett Packard, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and select it. So it's basically saying, here is my source. My source is Hewlett Packard. Now I need to select the destination. And I've mentioned this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, but what you really want to do is to pick up an external hard drive and when you connect your external hard drive to your machine um, it'll show up as a new drive letter and that's typically what you're going to want to select as your destination and in this particular case again for demo purposes um, I'm going to select my destination as my D drive and I'm going to go ahead and say select folder and you'll notice up here it's basically saying here's my source and here's my destination um, this down here is basically just a, a content representation of of the uh, of what's been selected from my source and my destination and the process that's contained uh, to make this backup work. Uh, the one thing you're going to want to click on after you select your source and destination is when. Select when, which is over here in the left-hand column, and this is going to schedule your backup to run. So you're going to want to come down here and click on Edit Schedule. This is basically saying there's no schedule associated with this particular profile. Would you like to create one? You're going to say yes. And you can set up your scheduled backup to run daily, weekly, or monthly. 
This is really uh, this really depends on how often you update your files. Now I don't update my files that often. I can probably get by with weekly or monthly and feel comfortable with that. What you need to ask yourself is if you had a catastrophic event between your backups, would you be comfortable with it? And what is that duration? So for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and select weekly. And it's basically saying, when do you want to start it? And I can select uh, anytime I want to start this weekly backup, I'm going to select Monday at 9 a.m. Um, it's going to recur every week. And what day do you want this to, to occur on? Well, in this particular case, I selected my start date to be Monday at 9 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and say every Monday, um, go ahead and run this backup. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click OK at this point. And this is basically saying that uh, my backup is created. I'll click OK. And now I am good to go. So it's right here it's telling me my next run is going to be uh, November 18th at 9 a.m and it's going to uh, occur every week on Mondays. So that's pretty much it. At this point you just want to click OK. And it's basically going to ask me, do I want to do a simulated run of the profile? Um, I do not wish to do that. I'm going to go ahead and say no. And you'll notice right here with what's being highlighted. This is the profile that we just created. It's telling me the type is a backup. Now I have nothing in here for my last run and I have nothing in here for my results but it does tell me my next run is scheduled for November 18th. So uh, what you'll want to do is you'll, you'll want to open up sync back occasionally and you'll want to check the last run date and you'll want to check the results to ensure that it is successful. You'll notice um, just above the profile we created uh, this one and this one I have no scheduled next run date and the reason for that is that um, I will tend to open up sync back and just run this manually which you can do as well even if it is scheduled um, but you can simply just right click as I did here and you'll come in and just say run and when you go to click on run this is gonna start up and it'll start the backup process now I'm not gonna do this right now because we're in a uh, we're just demoing and I didn't really set this profile up to do anything that meaningful for me so uh, again, I hope this helps you, and it's important to have the backups um, because if you do have anything catastrophic happen to your machine, you'll at least have a backup of the important information that's on it. Keep in mind one last thing, and that is um, I've talked recently about the CryptoLocker virus, and um, what's important about that particular virus is that if you have an external drive that's connected to your machine and you get hit with CryptoLocker, it will not only encrypt your local hard drive, but it will it will encrypt the um, anything that's connected to it. So if you have that external drive connected that has your backup information on it, that's going to be problematic. Um, it will destroy your backup data. So um, what you can do is just connect your external hard drive prior to the backup executing and keeping in mind that it's okay if it if it's connected uh, a little before and a little after you don't have to be precise about it it's just a preventative measure um, again against crypto locker to consider disconnecting that external drive so it does not destroy your backed up information so that's all I have for now and I hope this helps you and I hope you have a great day thank you